Alright guys, welcome to your 41st Intermediate Java tutorial, and again, like I said, this program is going to do three main things. It's going to wait for someone to connect to it. Once someone's connected, it's going to set up the streams or set up the connection between you and them. And the last thing it does is it runs the program while you are chatting, allows you to, to communicate with one another. So I think the easiest way to teach you guys how to do all this was is just to do it in order. The first thing that I'm going to be teaching you guys in this video is how to wait for a connection so someone else can connect. So make sure that you are outside your uh, start running method and um, make sure you're inside your class obviously. So this method is basically going to wait for connection then um, once you're connected, I just want to give you guys a nice little prompt on the screen that says, you know, you're connected with, you know, whatever their IP address is. Then display um, connection information. So again, remember that this method is called wait for connection. So I might as well, oh, I can type that. I'm not that lazy. So private void wait for connection. And it's not going to take any parameters, and what it's going to do is it's going to throw an I.O. exception. Alright, so we're good to go. So the first thing I want to do is remember, this is pretty much the first main method that gets called. So whenever um, you're waiting for a connection, I just like to have a little prompt on the screen that says show message to let you know, okay, the program is set up successfully, you're just waiting for someone else to connect. So waiting for someone to connect dot 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 because you know that's what you do whenever you're waiting I guess and oops alright there we go so basically whenever this method gets called we're gonna know that it successfully gets called and we're successfully waiting for someone to connect because we get this prompt on the screen not a whole lot of programming value but you know it's good to show the user that you know it is working you're not just sitting here waiting for your program to load so the next thing we need to do is we actually need to set up this socket now remember the socket is the connection between you and another computer and we name this variable connection now let's go ahead and actually create this variable connection set this equal to server accept now I guess I might as well explain to you guys what this is right here of course I forgot to say this but we're gonna code the show message uh, method later on that's where we're getting an error but pretty much all it does is display something on your screen but anyways back to this now the connection is the socket and what server accept does is once someone asks to connect to us asked to say you know what I want to have a conversation with you then it accepts a connection to the socket so it's basically gonna be waiting on our server and this loop is gonna go over and over and over again and every time it loops like every millisecond it's gonna be waiting for someone to connect is someone connected now no how about now no how about now no how about now no how about now yes and once you have that connection this variable or connection or socket whatever you want to call it, goes by many names, gets created and a connection or socket is created between you and another computer, the server and the client. So there you go, that's basically the essence of, you know, that's basically all you have to take away from this tutorial, that you want to keep doing this over and over and over again and once the server finally has someone to connect with, a socket or a connection is made. And let me see if I can, um, Yep, I don't know if you guys can see my little, maybe if I press F2 and move it, crap. I don't know if you guys can see this in the window, but basically, oh crap. All right, I might as well explain it since it's, you know, kind of the purpose of these tutorials anyways, instead of you guys just reading the documentation. Basically, it says it blocks a connection until it's made. So you know that this um, method is gonna be created or this method is going to be called over and over and over again called wait for a connection pretty much every millisecond it's going to be called so you must be thinking you know what does that mean that every millisecond is going to create a socket that 
you know, it's just going to be like an empty socket that's that connects to no one. Well, no, it doesn't. The only time that your server is able to create a socket is if it's actually connected to someone. So it's not going to create, you know, a billion empty sockets and then one time it connects to someone, you know, keep creating them again and again and again. It's only going to create a socket one time. And so it's not really like a variable where if you loop it over and over and over again, it's going to create a hundred different variables. It only creates this connection if it's connected to someone. So, you know, that's a thing that a lot of people ask me on my forum. So I thought I might as well just go ahead and explain it now. So the next thing you need to do is now that you're connected to someone, let's go ahead and just put another output message. Too lazy to type it. And I know I didn't put control C, control V. I know about it. I'm just too lazy to, uh, you know, type with my left hand from time to time. So we'll just say once you have a connection, now connected to and uh connection which is the socket itself and there's a method that you can put on here called get in an address and what this does is it pretty much returns the address where the socket is connected basically it returns your address if i'm connected to you and the last method called get host name is the host name pretty much the IP address but it actually uh, converts it to a string as you can see because the show message is only going to be able to you know accept strings so you know if your IP address is you know 123.4.5.6 it's gonna say okay now connected to 123.4.5.6 that's all so basically that is the end of you know this program basically wait for a connection which is the first method that we have to build is the first thing the first time it gets called is going to give you a nice little prompt on the screen that says you know what all you're doing right now is waiting for a connection it's going to wait for someone to connect and once they finally do a socket is going to be created and once a socket gets created it's going to say okay now you are connected to 456.7.8.9 or whatever the heck your IP address is. So there you have it in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the streams or the connections that pretty much allow you to send messages to the other person and receive messages from the other person. So that's what we have to look forward to. So thank you guys for watching and we're going to subscribe and yada yada yada. See you later.